Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Today, I'm bringing you some shotgun gameplay on the map Genesis and yes, I'm going to be using a shotgun on these zombies. It was just one of those days when I just felt to put on a shotgun and just blast some zombies in their heads and their chest. And I'm rocking with my hailstorm pistol, they're coming at me, I destroy one of them, I turn around, check in my six and I'm pushing up the stairs and I'm keeping the secondary with me just in case because sometimes with a shotgun you're gonna have enemies at a certain range and of course with a shotgun you have to be at close range to kill them right so I just pull out the hailstorm and just rain it down on them and hello boy get wrecked now I'm using the rifled barreled and the laser sight on the rack 9 pump action shotgun of course I'm gonna be using a pump action on them and look at this synaptic jumping in my airspace. Sit down, boy. Where are you going? Oh, don't go on the ground against me. Boom, you're dead. That's what's up. They can't handle the captain with a shotgun. And the shotgun sometimes is a good stress relief, you know. Sometimes when the zombies are acting up, you just need to pull it out and just destroy them, you know, hurt their feelings. The Rack 9 with the Hailstorm is such a powerful setup. I really enjoyed using it because look at this. I have the range on them with that secondary. It's so good at range. And when up close, I just pull out my shotgun. Simple as that. And notice the areas that I am navigating on the map. I showed you guys how to play this map. And look, I'm still doing the same exact thing. I'm still following the same strategy on the map navigation. I'm not really pushing into that zone. And if I do, I'm really cautious about it and pre-planned Look at our teammate who just went past into the death zone. Just have a look on the minimap and watch what happens. You see that death skull over there? Yeah, they're going to be dead, man. And look again, dead. See, so you never really push the death zone unless you're really sure. He didn't even check it. He just ran straight through. So sometimes I do have teammates who are zombies as well. And now they left me to do all the work. So I just enter phase shift and I'm looking for them. Boom, where you going, boy? Oh, knock, knock, punk. Sit down. And who am I kidding? Sometimes, most of the times, in fact, my random teammates are not zombies. They would actually fail zombie school. They're that bad sometimes. Now, I'm pushing back into this area. Look at where my teammates are and look at where the enemies are. You see the death skulls as well? So, of course, I'm just covering the flanks right now. And, of course, I'm being aware of the ranges and keeping it at the close range. And now I know they're there, right? And look at them. They're going to just push out and boom, get blasted. Just like that. Sometimes you have to do that to catch them off guard. Now, as I push the long range aside, notice how I pulled out my secondary and I just checked it and pre aimed it. Now, my perception is going off. I'm just searching for that guy. I'm looking at the minimap as well. I'm pre aiming it. I'm doing everything correctly and ensuring I can take out any opponents at that range. Now, if he was close to me, and I'm sure he's close to me, I just switched up to the shotgun and blast him. And look at this perception going off like crazy. Boom, sit down, boy. Don't come at me like that. It's like I'm playing Doc Hunt right here. Now I'm pushing through this building and if they push me through that building, they're gonna be dead men. But of course my teammates are ahead of me so I can push this way and I can ensure that it's safe rather than just going out by myself with a shotgun. And he gets destroyed with that pistol. Really liking the camo as well on it. And I go straight into phase shift and I get back into safety here and I await to ambush them. Boom, don't hide from me boy. Yeah, and you're dead as well. Now I'm just searching for this guy here, I know he's around me, I tag him up a bit, I put a next blast into him, no he doesn't die, I pull up my secondary and you get wrecked. And this is what happens when they give me these deadly tools, you know. Now I'm pushing back up this area, it's a safer area for me, especially with a shotgun as well and I have that pistol just pull out when I push this area, look at that, as on time. And I'm just checking the area, pre it, discipline as always, even though they're getting wrecked you still have to keep that discipline, don't lose that control. And he tries sneaking up, but he can't sneak up on an assassin boy. I got that aimbot on. My thumb is my aimbot, but my teammates sometimes, my random teammates, I don't think they play with fingers. They don't play with their thumbs. They actually use the tip of their nose. So now I'm just patrolling this area, ensuring that no enemies sneak through. I'm looking at where my teammates are, checking the main power positions, and also checking the hot zones and dead zones. Now here's where I make a mistake, I didn't notice my friend went to the phase shift as well, so when I saw him, when I phase shifted, I'm like, oh damn, wrong move. And you can see if you make a mistake against my enemies, my opponents, they actually, you know, take advantage of it, they kill you, so they're not, they're not bad players, of course not. It's just that when you follow the procedures, you follow the strategies and tactics, you make things look easy, you make other people look easy as well. Now notice how I'm not going into the death zone because I know they have that range against me and I blast him but look he has the equalizer so I'm just trying to bait him in to come in to this zone. I'm trying to make him have a disadvantage against me and he puts up his bubble shield and you get blasted boy. Man he's like a Teletubby on crack in his bubble. Now I'm just scoping this area out to see if there's any threats around the area. I pull out my pistol 
and I destroy him. You see he's not even pre aiming when he comes out, he just runs out like a typical zombie. Now look at the empty space here, I'm just going to check it really quickly, I see him, I move away because he has that range on me. So I take cover, I wait to ambush him here, but of course my friend gets alerted, he looks around, he has a sniper and he destroys him. Uh, oh man, you got embarrassed there, what are you doing in the bush like that? I tell these guys time and time again, you can't ambush an assassin. And you can see it's a close game as well, the enemy team are not bad players, they're actually good. But they're playing against someone who actually teaches others how to become elite in the game. So of course this is what happens to them. <laughs> and I have to use some elite tactics here to evade that vulture. The vulture and the micro turrets are probably the most annoying things to me right now in the game. And that's why I wear blind eye on my nuclear class. But this class right here is just a fun class so you just run away from the vulture like it's a hive of bees coming at you. And I particularly like this head glitch that I just passed it. And look it's open, it's empty, my teammate is spawning there. So I'm just using him now to just get an awareness of what's going on ahead. And look at that, I try to tag him up, the range is a bit too far so I move away, I come back around, I'm not going to push it like a zombie. So of course we never pre be like zombies, we never play like them, we use tactics and he gets destroyed just like that. And I kill him and it's getting intense now, they're all around me, I'm getting injured, I'm running away, I'm moving away. I destroy him, he doesn't die the first time, I kill him now. And I move away, I push into here, you can see the perception is going off like crazy. And that takes some skill as well to evade the death. That takes definitely takes some skill. So like I always say, part of being a ninja is part of being an assassin. You have to have an escape route, you have to have an escape plan. And be prepared to put on your afterburners and leg it out of there. And the game is coming to an end, I really hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I found it fun, I enjoyed using the shotgun. And like I said before, it's always a good stress relief to just blast these zombies in their chests and in their heads with these shotguns. So definitely give it a try. 35kd, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Please share the videos guys. If you want to see me grow, I would appreciate that. And do subscribe if you haven't already. More great videos to come. Take care. Bye.